Hello everyone out there. I am back with the video and the purpose of this video is I wanted to be like a I guess it's like a part two to that uh, greatest hits tag that was that's still going around associating folks chiming in and doing the 12 plus one greatest hits. Well I did one earlier a few weeks ago of uh, the LPs. But I wanted to come back and do CDs, 12 plus one greatest hits on CDs that I have in my collection. And um, I, like I've mentioned before, greatest hits are sometimes ways to listen to a band, an artist, and sometimes getting the notion, hmm, I wonder what some of their records or their records sound like. Um, so you kind of jump off and go into their, you know, you go down a rabbit hole and you start collecting uh, their records or buying other records because you use the greatest hits as a guide. So I, I, I pulled out uh, some that I want to show on CD. A CD, I still like buying CDs. They're cheap. Um, a lot of my prog rock collection is on CD. Because a lot of times those records are pretty pricey and, you know, I still like to eat food and put gasoline in the car. <laughs> but um, so I did a I'm doing a 12 plus one greatest hits of my collection of CDs. So let's get let's get underway here. I recently picked up. Well, I didn't get this one. Uh, my sweetheart got me um, this one right here of the the essential Foo Fighters. It's a Digipack CD. I like these guys a lot. I do. I noticed the band is uh, grown now, judging by that photo. But, uh, oh yeah. One of my favorite songs, I'm surprised that their, their version of uh, Baker Street is not on here. I think they did a version of it, and I like that one. But I really do like, if I can name that one song, is um, Best of You. And, uh, yeah, Best of You is such a good song on here. So, Foo Fighters. Next, Power Pop here, as uh, folks will tell you. Uh, I have uh, the Babies Anthology. This really covers a, quite a range of 70, 17 tracks. And some songs, when I listen to it, I go, oh, yeah. I remember hearing that song on the radio. I do have a few of their records, but I got this. It was like about five bucks, if I remember right. And I like the babies. And next, one of my other favorite bands, um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Greatest Hits. I got this not too long ago for about a dollar. And... Uh, of course, everyone's heard this song, and it's still uh, my favorite song by them, and that's uh, Under the Bridge. That song is just a great, one of their epic songs. Here's one of my great favorite greatest hits from a long time. When I was a kid, I played this one, and I'm trying to remember what song that I felt like should have been on here. Uh, this is Wings' Greatest Hits. I love this package of the songs on here. Here's the CD upside down. But I was trying to remember a song that should have been on here. And, and it isn't, but I can't think of it. But I think some of the B-sides to these songs should have been on here. Because those are greatest hits as well, in my opinion. Like Sally G or um, the flip side to Live and Let, uh, Live and Let Die. I love the song. That's on the B side of that single and is a song, uh, I Lie Around. That's a really good song. If there's one whole story that I like to listen to, and that's the great vocals of Kate Bush. This is the greatest hits. At the time when I got that, get, bought this, I didn't know that. I thought it was a, just a, an album she did, but no, it turns out that it is a greatest hits package. This next one is a band from the Netherlands. It's prog, folk, rock. It kind of has a little jazziness to it. But 
I recommend this group. I think if you listen to this or you get a best of or listen to them on Spotify, I think you could would I could see some folks hooking in, hooking into their music. I hope so. This is Super Sister. And this is one of these greatest hits put out by um, Polydor or Universal. But uh, one of their f albums that I really do like by this band, and it's a, there's a tune on here from it, and it's a uh, present from Nancy. Great, great band. Great band. Super Sister. Oh, man, this is... I'm, all, I'm saying this because I remember love hearing this song off this greatest hits. Uh, as a youngster back in uh, uh, junior high on the radio, it always come on late at night. And man, I used to crank it and uh, get in trouble because I was supposed to have the music off at nine o'clock and I'm supposed to be asleep and getting ready for school. That's what my mom told me. But I couldn't turn off the radio when I hear uh, the song. Um, let me make sure I get the right title here. Play the game tonight. That's it. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't know why I want to call it the game, but it's play the game tonight. Best of Kansas. It's a good greatest hits package with a really cool artwork. I like this. If you don't want to get every Kansas and you like to want to just hear the main hits, that's a good one to have. Next, a recent this past Christmas. The Beach Boys' greatest hits. I do have the, one of their box sets, and I'm not sure where it's at at the moment, but this one's a good one. This one even has Kokomo, and I love that song. It has one of my other favorites, and that's Good, good Vibrations, and I like rock and roll music. I like the way they do that. Cover the Chuck Berry song. Next is the man himself. 30 number one hits. Elvis Presley, I love listening to this one. I uh, got this real cheap a while back for like 50 cents. I went to one of these record stores and they had all these CDs uh, for 50 cents. And on this one, I'm not sure the story behind this, but they had that bonus track, A Little Less Conversation, the G J X L Radio Edition. And I like it. I do. It's motivation. It motivates me when I hear that song, you know? Uh, the Wonder of You. Oh, this is good. Wooden Heart is on here. Some really good Elvis tracks on that one. Here are my boys. Yeah, they are. Love this photo. The Who. Meaty, beady, big, and bouncy. I got this years ago. I remember my mom giving me this on vinyl for one of my birthdays. I don't have that vinyl anymore, but this is a good one. It's a Canadian press, if I remember right, of this. But, man, this is a good starting point right here to some of the Who's greatest classics, the mod, the mod rockers. But love this. Um... The best of the Rolling Stones. I like Jump Back. This is a good, greatest hits. They put Angie on here. They put Undercover of the Night and uh, Wild Horses, Rock in a Hard Place, Mixed Emotion. This is a good little package right here. You can get it cheap. I got mine at Walmart for like five bucks, brand new. Yeah, I'm always digging through those Walmart bins. You just never know what you're going to find in them. Here we are at Neil Young. Greatest hits right here. I love this cover of Neil Young back in the day. This has some of the great classics, like songs like uh, Down by the River, Cowgirl in the Sand, Cinnamon Girl, After the Girl Rush. I love that song. Um, Ohio, I mean, The Needle and the Damage Done, Hey, Hey, My, My. Oh, I mean, just Like a Hurricane is even on here. So... And now, 13. And I want to show this, and I hope uh, my friend out there, uh, Beth, Miss 80s, will see this. This is Greatest Hits number three of Queen. I don't think it's ever been put out on vinyl, but I could be wrong. Maybe they have, and it was just a short run of them, and a limited uh, 
vinyl, but I love this CD. And this one, you get a Christmas song. Thank God it's Christmas. Uh, no one but you. These are the days of our lives. I love this song, but yeah, I got this a while back at a flea market for like about a buck. So Queen, Greatest Hits, number three. That's 13, 12 plus one, 13. There they are, my Greatest Hits uh, from my CD collection. Again, thank you to everyone out there. I appreciate the support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing here, please become a subscriber. Um, I plan to make more videos uh, coming up. I want to do some more reviews. I do have some things in the works, but I want to spend a little bit more time um, listening to the music so I can talk about the music and not just, you know, show the contents and this, but, you know, give some more info or anything like that. I mean, I'm not an expert or pretend to know everything. I really don't. There, some of this new music I got, I really don't know too much about it. Uh, a lot of it was that it sounded fascinating just reading the label and listening to a few uh, sound bites uh, on the internet. Take care, everybody, and I will see you soon. Have a great upcoming week.